So in this session we are going to discuss about what is Control M. So first thing which you need to know is uh, Control M is BMC's product. Okay, so whenever you talk about Control M, Control M is BMC product. So if you are searching on Google, you can search with BMC Control M. If you are going to search on YouTube, you can search with BMC Control M. And then you are going to get the most relevant detail about Control M. And Control M provides you a way to create or manage complex workload automation so with complex workload automation what I mean is you can have your applications your scripts running on different type of servers for example you have your scripts running on Windows or on Linux operating system or on mainframes and if you want to schedule all of them and you want to have a single monitoring window then you can do that using control M and control M gives you facility to create really complex workflows so by that what i mean is let's say if you want to run all the jobs in one region first before executing all the jobs on another region you can do that and let's say if you want to run all the jobs on mainframe after running all the jobs on a linux system you can do that as well or let's say if you want to do mix and match and also you have you know scheduling dependencies some of your jobs are cyclic some of your jobs are non-cyclic so all of these actually can make make very complex workflow and control M workload automation provides you this functionality of scheduling and managing all of this complex workload control M is very easy to use Con in control M you can very easily define all the jobs the, uh, doesn't matter whether the job is going to run on SAP BO or whether it is going to run on Windows machine or a Unix machine on a mainframe the way to define job is going to be almost same and you are still going to use the same interface to define all different type of jobs again the granular granular level again the granular level detail may change in case to case basis and also the type of jobs which you execute but most of the functionality or most of the scheduling mechanism is still going to remain the same so in control m it is very easy to define jobs and also it is very easy to set up complex workload dependencies so once you define the jobs and you execute it it is very important for someone to monitor those jobs and ensure whether the job is running as per expectation or not and that thing is usually taken care by L0 or NOC team in all the organization so control M provides you very easy to you know an easy interface to monitor all the jobs and also that using that interface you can perform many actions such as let's say one of the job fails and if you want to see the logs you have an option to do that if you want to see the output of the execution when the execution took place you have an option to do that and let's say if you want to rerun that job you have an option to do that though uh, you have an option to do those sort of things so using control M you can not only define your jobs very easily but you can also monitor and manage your jobs very easily. Now control M comes with a embedded database which is PostgreSQL. So whenever you are going to use or whenever you are going to take license for control M you can just go ahead with embedded database which is PostgreSQL and you don't need to worry about uh, database licensing. Because PostgreSQL is an open source database and PostgreSQL is also right now is the very popular or most popular I would say RDBMS database right now. Control M provides you high availability so you can be assured that Control M is always going to be available whenever you need it and Control M achieves high availability by different ways. So one of the most popular ways by using Control M in cluster. So yes Control M does support cluster and control M have different components and almost all of those components support clustering so you can be assured that you are not going to have a single point of failure and using control M you can actually do predictive analysis or if else analysis so that is going to let you know what is going to happen if one of the job fails so using control M you'll be able to manage your SLA and also you are going to save money